The next question is from Imran Khan, Chennai, India. I am 23 years old. I am currently working in Amazon Chennai. Before I worked for a few other companies in Chennai. I am not satisfied with the work life that I am going through now. It keeps hitting my brain that something is missing in life and I have changed jobs but it didn't work. I was watching your videos since I am 15 or 16. Alhamdulillah, you are a very blessed man by Allah's grace and the way you deliver the message subhanallah has a very powerful impact in people's life that had guided many people to the right path. Alhamdulillah this Ramadan a lot of changes happened within me and I watched your videos a lot this Ramadan. I thought of myself giving dawa on the stage like you, imitating you and calling pe people towards Islam and Alhamdulillah I believe that I will become a Dai like you. I know many people have approached you with the same idea but I believe Allah has blessed me with so much capabilities to be a Dai like you. I want to become a Dai like you or a step ahead with the blessings of Allah. I am requesting you to train me in the field of Dawa and inshallah I believe that make dua to Allah that I will be successful Dai. I think I can serve Allah to the best possible way with my, with my capabilities being a Dai. Alhamdulillah, Allah blessed me with good memory power, understanding skills, fast learning capacity and good English long and good English knowledge. Like the way you got inspired by Sheikh Ahmed Didad and, and confirmed by him, conferred by him with the title Didad Plus. Inshallah, one day I'll be conferred by you with the title Zakir Plus, Inshallah. Please accept this request and accept me to be your student to serve Allah the way you and Uncle Didat served. I am waiting for your reply. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. A similar question is asked by Shoheb Ahmad Sami from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Assalamu alaikum Zakir uncle. For the sake of Allah, I want to be a Dai just like you. How can I study different religions beside my regular studies and is it possible to do so? How should I study the Quran by understanding the verses so that I can remember the specific verses in which is necessary for specific topics just like you do. May Allah bless you with Janatul Firdaus and Allah give Hidayah to all those people who are against you and make me a Dai just like you. I mean, We the people of Bangladesh love you a lot. Please visit us soon. Inshallah. Similar question asked by Arbo. Gemichu, Ethiopia. How to start studying comparative religion? Please advise. Similar question asked by Noor Nabil Ahmed, India. MashaAllah, same question from across the world. You are from India, you are from Bangladesh, you are from Ethiopia, and again from India. Noor Nabil Ahmed from India. I am a medical aspirant. From childhood, I wanted to be a doctor, but after seeing your lectures and debates, my dream has been changed. I heard that after watching Sheikh Ahmed Dida's lecture, you chose to become a preacher and Alhamdulillah, he has inspired you, you inspire me. Now my dream has changed. I want to be like you and want to spread this lovely message to all the humanity. But I know this work is not easy. So what advice you want to give me? and many Muslim youth who have a dream like me. Similar question asked by Sayyid Abdullah Hyderabad, India. What should I do to be your student? I have only picked up five similar questions. Believe me, such questions are in hundreds. If I read only, we'll take hours. So I've just clubbed all the questions so that I'll try and answer all together. They're similar question. The basic question asked by these five people are, is that they want to be my student number one, they want to be a Dai number two. They want to study comparative religion. As far as being a student of mine, personally, on a personal level, I don't have any student. Yes, I have taken Dawah training programs in the past. And there are 
these students of mine but on a personal level because of my busy schedule because of my activity involved in dawa etc like there are many of the scholars and dais they have got halqas etc i don't have one to one regular meeting i mainly have on the social media on the satellite channel where around the millions are watching as far as training personally is concerned i have done only four dawa training program on a big level one day half a day many but for a few days put together i have done two training programs for the students in india one was the first phase of the dawa training program which i did in the mid 90s and the late 90s and i did a second phase of the dawa training program both these training programs had about 20 students then in 1999 i did the first international dawa training program where we selected 20 students from different parts of the world from different parts of the world and we had thousands of applications those we felt deserve more we selected 20 and after 1999 after 16 and a half years we are in november 1999 again in january february 2016 after about 16 and a half year i had the second international dawa training program and the purpose of the second international dawa training program was and it was for a longer duration it was updated it was for about 45 days the actual working days were 33 it was 5 days a week two days holidays in between with a lot of homework so total course was for about 45 days and it was updated and one of the reason was that when we did the second international dawa training program in bombay we got people after receiving thousands of application we got people you know we had from malaysia itself maximum we had six people two from singapore one from japan one from holland one from uk and from different parts of the world from india we had from china and this training program i recorded in a very high format we recorded it with 14 cameras or 4k and 8k cameras so that once we record it once we edit it it would be for the next 50 60 years so the main purpose of this was besides training this these 20 people which was the smaller aim the bigger aim was having it recorded updating my notes so that we can make it public unfortunately this this dawa training program took place in january and february and ended in the end of february and the other thing sessions continued even later after that within a couple of months i had to leave india and then you know there was allegation against me in july 2016 and the organization was banned in november 2016 because of that we could not have the program edited could not have it uploaded but alhamdulillah as i mentioned earlier that in the beginning of ramadan we had the complete new website of mine by the address zakirnaik.com and it is yet under process of more material is being added on it but there's a complete new section to it which is called as international dawa training program idtp and this international dawa training program was supposed to be launched in the mid ramadan but because i started having these sessions live session i could not give time to it but inshallah in the next 4 to 8 weeks inshallah whether towards the end of this month june or before the end of july inshallah inshallah the international dawa training program will be launched on our website it's a different it's a different website altogether but it will be part of my main website and in this international dawa training program all the notes of the dawa training program on islam on comparative religion will be uploaded it's thousands of pages these notes the dawa training program is more of a technique based rather than knowledge based most of the training programs give knowledge but don't give technique this training program is more of technique based even though it's not knowledge based it has, it, it yet has about 1000 pages and in, if you do online inshallah it may not have the same effect as doing the training program directly with me but yet inshallah if you do it online it will have approximately 15% of impact of doing the course with me directly the videos are not edited allah knows best when will it be edited but as soon as time permits or when we have the facility 
it may take two years three years four years i don't know we will have even the videos uploaded with the videos uploaded and the notes according to me it will be approximately 30 percent effective as effective as doing the course directly but the reason i had the notes prepared and uploaded and the videos also inshallah will be done because for a trainer to have this material and then have a training session of having 20 muslim students following the notes following the video and just being as a supervisor then inshallah it will have 50 percent impact if all the same notes are given and if the videos are shown and there is a supervisor to supervise you know amongst the students who did mashallah in the first phase in the second phase mashallah i'm happy to tell you that in in the in the first phase mashallah there were at least few people who who were qualified to become trainers and and maybe about 50 percent are doing dawah and yet continuing mashallah in the second phase mashallah the, the number of people doing active dawah is much more than the first phase and mashallah more people i think are qualified to be trainers than in the first phase the second phase was more effective it had more information and inshallah once the video is prepared if you have a supervisor amongst any any of one of my students and if the notes are given and if the video is played and he supervises the homework the way it is inshallah it will have 50 percent impact because if a person just attending my program conducts on his own according to me the impact was 10 percent if he had the notes the impact was 15 percent that's it because he may not be able to explain the same way as me he may not be able to add the points he may not be able to demonstrate the techniques so then i thought that having the notes having the video and having a trainer would be the best so inshallah very soon in the next maybe four to eight weeks our international dawah training program will be uploaded on my website so to become a student would be very difficult would be and when i did the training about four years back I told that this may be the last training program I'm doing unless Allah wills it to be because of the busy schedule because in the training that time though the training is for 45 days I spend about you know 60 days now 60 days stopping all my activities and at that time I slept sometimes one hour sometimes 45 minutes my average sleeping I told you is three and a half hours now in Bombay it was three hours but in the training session it was about one and a half hour you know at times i spend 10 12 13 14 hours on the stage starting morning eight o'clock ending night early morning two o'clock next day you know because of doing personal training etc it has a lot of impact it has a lot of effort that goes in in this two month work of at least three months is done so stop all the other activities that there is and i don't think so i'll be having any training program like that in future in my life but inshallah when the website is ready when the video is ready and when the website inshallah even having 15 percent of the impact is a great deal i was inspired by sheikh ahmadida and sheikh ahmadida mashallah has taken many training programs and he conducted even two month training program one month training program one day program and then in the 90s when he met me he told me son who trained you did I train you? And I had to agree that I was inspired by Sheikh Ahmadida. I saw his video cassette. But personally, one-to-one -one training? Yes, I spent time with him several hours. You know, but training in a session? I said, no, uncle, because he knows. So who trained you? Allah trained you. He said, anyone who has the passion and the zeal to become a die, Allah will become a die. And I agree with him totally. He said, wasting time in training program is a waste of time. I don't agree with him completely, but I do know that most of the training program done by most of the people are not that effective. But Alhamdulillah, that is the reason we learned the good thing from the training program and even the negative factor. And when I made my training program, I saw many of the other training programs. Then I changed it and Alhamdulillah, all our training programs were effective. But it is time consuming. It is difficult. So the best thing, what Shaykh Dindad rightly said, it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who makes you die. And in this training program, our main focus is there are three points in the training program. And I'm telling you so that you pick it up. Number one is if Allah helps you, none can overcome you. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Imran, chapter number three, verse 160. 
that if Allah helps you, none can overcome you. If Allah forsakes you, who is there then who can help you? So let the believers put their trust in Allah. So number one is having faith in Allah. Allah should help you. Number two, Allah says in Surah Al-Kabut, chapter number 29, verse number 69, that if you strive to do jihad in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, jihad fi sabilillah, Allah will open up his pathways for you. So you have to strive, you have to struggle. If you struggle, Allah has to open up your, up your pathways. If you struggle and Allah does not open up your pathways, don't blame Allah, blame yourself. Your struggling wasn't enough. So here in this training program, we hammer in the student that have faith in Allah. Only Allah is the one who can make you an effective die, no one else. Number two, we show them how to strive. We show them how can you work hard and get results in a short span. I have students who have done the DM, MBBS, M MD, DM, highest. And, and he said that even in my DM exam, I did not strive so much as I done in the Dawa training program. We show them about discipline. And we show the results. The homework we give them, maybe a month in advance they cannot do. But in the Dawa training program, they can finish in two days or one day. Alhamdulillah. Number three is technique. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Nahal chapter 16 verse 43 and Surah Ambiya chapter number 21 verse number 7. Fasalu halis zikri in kumtulatalamun. If you don't know, ask the person who's knowledgeable. So in this training program, we touch on the third part, the technique. But we have pay stress. Number one is Allah's help. Number two is striving, third is technique. And we show techniques of public speaking. And as today science tells us that the impact of a lecture that you give, a person giving a public lecture, the matter he speaks in the lecture carries only 7% of weightage. 93% is presentation skills. How do you modulate your eye to eye contact in the gestures? How do you structure your lecture, the opening, the conclusion? All these things carry 93%. So in this training program, we, sh we give you the fishing line. We don't give you the fish. Fish is given a little bit. We give you the fishing line. How to do research in preparing a lecture, how to be effective, how to quote. When you quote, it has a bigger impact than just saying, you know, Allah says in the Quran, giving the reference, carrying the bigger weight, giving the reference of the scriptures. Then we tell you that all the verses of the Quran are important. But if you memorize these 25 verses, there are which these verses are more required for da'wah. Then we give them another 25 verses of the Quran. Then another 25. Then another 25. By, by the time we complete the course, he knows a couple of hundred verses by heart along with the translation. Then we tell the people it is preferable to know the answers of the more common questions asked than to know more number of answers of questions which are uncommonly asked. So we give them a set of questions. The 20 most common questions asked by non-Muslims. Then we give another set of questions. 20 most common questions asked by non-Muslims which have some knowledge of Islam. Then we give them set of questions, 10 common questions asked by Christian missionaries. 10 common questions asked by Hindus about Islam. And so on and so forth. We give them ready-made answers of more than 100 questions. These are how our answer should be given. And we tell them when you're giving an answer, it should touch four categories. It should touch from the Quran and Hadith. Islamic perspective, it should touch comparative religion, quotation from, uh, from the non-Muslim, maybe from the Bible, from the Vedas. Number three, giving answers with scientific knowledge. And number four, with reason and logic. We have to touch all four. You may never know what will convince the non-Muslim. So in this way, we, we tell them the technique, we give them structured answer of the most common question, which will work, alhamdulillah, with more than 90% or 95% non-Muslim. Then we tell them that surely there will be some people who will counter question. So how to handle question, counter question is another technique. So in this Dawah training program, we teach about the basics of Islam also. It is not knowledge based. But we tell them, then we teach them the basics of Hinduism, then the basics of Judaism and of Christianity, the major world religions, then about atheism. And in this way, we give them the key points. And I'm telling this because this question is asked many times to me. And amongst maybe a, a couple of hundred thousand questions have been asked to me, a few hundred are only on this. And how to do dawah, how to become a dayah, I want to be a student. 
So personally to become, I would love to make everyone personally. Because when I teach, I myself improve my, my knowledge and my skills. But believe me, so much committed. As it is, I'm sleeping three and a half hours a day, it is difficult. So my request to you is that join this our training program. It is online, absolutely free. Wait for the, wait for the notes to come. You can do it. And believe me, no one taught me. Sheikh Didas inspired me. No one taught me public speaking. It was just by the passion of Dawa that I did it. And Alhamdulillah, at least you have something now. So, see to it that you visit. Now also, if you go on the website, there are yet common questions available. The answers are there. You can start from today. Don't wait till the IDDP starts. Yet there is enough information on my website presently, which is on comparative religion. So if you want to comparative religion, then we give them the important verses of the Bible. Memorize, you don't have to memorize the full Bible. Bible is three times as voluminous as the Quran. We give them memorize these 20 verses of the Bible. You then later on another 20 verses, another 20 maybe with a set of 60, 70 verses of the Bible. You can even debate with the Pope. You don't have to memorize the full Bible. Then we give verses of the Vedas to talk to Hindus. Then we give verses how to how to convince atheists. Then we tell how to do dawa on the social media. How to dawa on the stage is a different technique. How to do dawa off stage is a different technique. How to do dawa one to one is a different technique. How to do dawa on the print media is a different technique. How to do dawa on the social media is a different technique. Every social media has its pros and cons. Facebook has a different advantage as compared to the Instagram, as compared to the YouTube, as compared to the Twitter. Each has the advantage and disadvantage. I have done a full session one day only on social media. But now, in four, in, in four years' time, all the statistics have changed. Social media has advanced a lot. So you have to keep, a die has to be up to date. So the best is, you go to my website immediately today. Inshallah, in the next four to six weeks, seven weeks, the IDDP will be launched. That would take, if you read it, if you dedicate full day of yours, it will take about 40 days to go to it and do it. If you do few hours a day, it will take you a few months or maybe a year. And inshallah, we have the live sessions. In the live sessions, you can ask questions. Not necessary that a question would be entertained because we have every day tens of thousands. Every day, literally about 25 to 30,000 questions coming. I'm answering only 30. My data bank of questions to be answered has increased. As I told you earlier that out of three, four thousand questions by the team, they forward to me maybe a hundred, hundred and fifty. From that, I select about forty, fifty. I keep it. I'm, I'm only able to answer twenty, twenty-five. So every every day in my data bank, the questions to be answered is every session. It's including another twenty-five, and yet the majority of the questions have not been read by my team. The most expensive part of this session is the is selecting question answer session. That is an ordeal. Which 25 questions should be selected to be answered out of the 25,000 is a team is working on it. I am spending every session approximately 8 hours on which questions will be selected and we are presenting it. So this was in brief how can you, you don't have to be a personal student of mine. You can go on the website. How you can learn about comparative religion from the website. And the various technique, I just give you a, synop a gist of the synopsis. You go on the website, inshallah, it will take you a few hundreds of hours to go through it and to read it. Once the video is available, it would be more beneficial. Even without the video, inshallah, you can learn a lot.